So it has the tartar sauce, the lettuce, one and a half pickles. Man, what kind of pickles is this? Look at this. But look at this one. This one has one long pickle. What the heck? At BK, have it your way. You rule. Uh, sorry. Guys, when it comes to Burger King, I consider myself an avid goer. I tried many of their things, from their Whoppers to their chicken sandwiches, but I don't think I ever had their fish products before. Well, today it's about to change because we're trying Burger King's new Big Fish. And if you like things spicy, they're fiery Big Fish. We're going over the price point, how many calories is it, and if it's worth fitting into your diet. So you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Lewis Hopper Show. You know how we do. Back at it again with another Burger King video. And guys, I'm super excited to try this because it's my first time trying Burger King's fish products. And when I'm talking about fish products, I'm thinking like McDonald's fish fillets and uh, I don't know what else is there. But yeah, I tried mostly everything at Burger King. Like I said before, from the Whoppers, their chicken sandwiches, of course their chicken fries, chicken nuggets. Wait, have I tried the chicken nuggets? Anyways, you get the idea. But today we're gonna try something new. That's right, they're big fish and fiery big fish. So enough talking, let's open this up and see what it looks like. Ugh. So this is what I got. So this one is the big fish and this one's the fiery big fish. How can I tell? It says right here. <laughs> but before we get started, this is a fitness channel. So I gotta teach you how you can eat like this and still lose weight by going over my four rules. The first rule is to follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories come from foods just like this. My second rule is we don't skip our training, we don't skip our workout, we don't skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the morning and get out of the way, but you can go anytime you like as long as it fits you and your schedule. And the third rule is we eat our mains calories or below. So when you eat our mains calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat above your mains calories, you gain weight. If you're below it, you lose weight. But hey, what if I don't know my mains calories? Well, my friend, looking for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringtheshreds.com slash tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just type in your info and you'll be good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel. Unless it's vodka. All right, guys, super excited to try this. Again, huge fan of McDonald's fish fillets. I'll be honest, I don't get them as often just because I'm a huge Big Mac lover. But every once in a while, you know, I'll switch it up, get a McChicken, get a fish fillet. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so if you've been to this channel before, you might be asking this question. Hey, Lewis, where are the fries? Where are the halvesies? Something that's been introduced recently at Burger King is called the halvesies which is half fries, half onion rings. Oh man. But I didn't get anything and I'll tell you why in a bit. But before we do that, let's start off with the big fish sandwich. So let's open up like so. Oh man. This really does remind me of a fish fillet at McDonald's. So this is what it looks like. Burger King's big fish sandwich. So it comes on a brioche bun. You guys know me, I love brioche. I think it's French. A lot of places today, they have brioche. Let's open this up. So it has the tartar sauce, the lettuce, one and a half pickles. Man, what kind of pickles is this? Look at this. Come on, Burger King. And then right here is the fish patty covered with pingo crumbs. Is that what it's called? And let's flip it over. Uh -uh. And some more tartar sauce. Oh, man. And this one's coming at 570 calories. If you want to know the rest of the macros, I'll leave them right here. And yeah, guys, super excited. This is Burger King's new big fish sandwich. Get yours today. Come on. That is good. Wow, guys, not gonna lie, I'm pretty surprised. Again, I don't get fish often at fast food restaurants, but this is legit. It kind of reminds me of something you'll get at like, not like Red Lobster or like Bubba Shrimp, you know, something like that. Really good, good quality. Mmm, mmm. Wow. Oh yeah, before I forget, both of these are priced at $6.49 uh, in California. But check this out, guys. I always preach the app. You guys know this by now. So they had a deal today, right? It was buy one, get the other one for $2. So instead of spending 12 uh, something, $13, it came out to $9. All good? I'm not only here trying to save you guys calories, I'm trying to save you guys money as well. Wow, that was really good. But now let's try the fiery big fish. So this one looks a little bit bigger than uh, the regular big fish. Let's open this up. And uh, yeah, oh wow, what the? So you guys can see right here, the bag's a lot greasier with the fiery big fish. It doesn't look too good, but uh, we'll see. Let's compare the sizes. So I feel like the spiciness is in the breadcrumbs, right? Because this one's a darker color than this one, if you guys can tell. Let's open it up and see. Again, on the brioche bun. So this one had one and a half pickles, half meaning like the pickle is very small. But look at this one. This one has one long pickle. <laughs> what the heck? Come on, Burger King. Consistency is key. 
So same thing, lettuce, tartar sauce, one long ass pickle. Let's flip it over. Same thing, uh, tartar sauce. So check this out. The regular big fish is 570 calories. The fiery big fish is 730 calories. Oh man. I mean, I thought it was the same thing. Just one's more spicier than the other, right? Why is this one so many more calories than this one? I don't know. But yeah, like I said, this one's 730 calories. If you want to know the rest of the macros, I'll leave them right here. This is Burger King's new fiery big fish sandwich at Burger King. Wait, I already said that. Also get yours today. Let's do this. Mmm, okay. For some reason, and it may just be the sandwich, but the crust on the fiery one is more crispier than the regular big fish. Interesting. And then when I bit into it at first, I didn't really taste the spiciness, but then like it slowly creeps up on you. You guys know what I'm saying? But really good. Mm. I'm still kind of curious though. They basically have the same ingredients, only this one's more spicy. Why is the fiery one almost 200 calories more than the regular one? You know what I'm saying? Really makes you think, wow, this is so good, but I need something to wash this down with. And you guys know, rule number four, we don't drink our calories on this channel. So today I have a nice Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. Not sponsored. Usually my cat freaks out when I open this up, but uh, they're pretty good today. You can't go wrong with Mountain Dew Zero Sugar and Burger King, am I right? So guys, like I said, some of you guys might be thinking, where are the fries, where are the halfsies, where are the cheesy tots? I thought that was your favorite. And hey, hey, you guys are right, they are. But check this out, this is the fitness channel, and I'm gonna eat both of these today, right? So 730, wait, 730 plus 570, that's uh 1300 calories. So in my personal opinion, I think that's where you're a lot. To go on this channel to eat the foods you love, you know, moderation, not deprivation. But like I said, because this is a lot of calories, in my opinion, I don't wanna add on more, right? because I still need to get my fruits, my veggies in. I still need to hit my protein at the end of the day. You know, get them gains. So two sandwiches for today. Hey, 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 you want a six pack or not, all right? I don't make the rules, I just follow them. So guys, if you're new to the channel, I'll always end it off with the question of the day. It helps you guys get to know me better. And if you leave a comment below, it helps me get to know you guys better as well. So today's question is, if you could bring back one TV show that was canceled, which one would you bring back? Oh man, what a great question. So I'm like a huge fan of like those high school shows. I feel like when I watch them, they bring back that nostalgia. So I'm talking about like Saved by the Bell, Boy Meets World. But one show that I think I canceled too early and they only lasted one season was Freaks and Geeks. I thought that show was great. It had celebrities in that show before they were stars. I'm talking Jason Segel, Seth Rogen, James Franco. And yeah, even though they only had one season, I think they made a mistake canceling it. And I was kind of wondering what would happen if they brought it back. I personally feel like if they had a second season, it would be successful just as well. But hey, it is what it is. You can't turn back time. I know, for example, Family Guy got canceled in the past, but it's a cartoon, right? So even though it got canceled, they were able to bring it back. But Freaks and Geeks had more of a live cast. Not live cast, but like actors and actresses, not cartoons. You know what I'm saying? So unfortunately, they couldn't bring it back because uh, everybody aged. Still a classic to this day, in my opinion. But yeah, what about you guys? Is there a show that stood out to you that got canceled too early as well? Let me know down below. You know what they didn't cancel though? That's right, Burger King's new. Big fish and fiery big fish sandwich. Let's get some more. Come on. All right, guys, that was so good. But this time, let's do something different. Let's add some more sauce to this. And you guys know how I feel about extra sauce calories. So instead of asking for ranch at Burger King, today we have fat-free ranch, only 30 calories per serving. Regular ranch is 130 calories. This one's only 30 calories. Because you know, math. All right, guys, you guys know this is my go-to on everything, almost everything. So this one is no exception. Burger King's big fish sandwich with fat-free ranch. Oh, yo. Guys, ranch goes well on everything, but you don't want the extra calories, right? You know, get the taste, not the calories. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's do this. Mm. You get the tar sauce, but you also get a mixture of ranch. It's like a winning combination. Last but not least, let's go back to the fiery big fish. But instead of ranch, let's try French honey mustard, only five calories per serving. So the honey mustard at Burger King is 89 calories. This one's only 10 calories, sorry. I said five calories, this one's 10. But still, 89 calories compared to 10, that's still winning, right? Again, guys, get the taste, not the calories. I already know this is gonna be good, right? You get the spiciness from the sandwich, the sweetness from the honey mustard. Oh man. Pour it on like so, and let's go. Mm. Wow, either sauces, guys, you can't go wrong. 
Oh, you guys want to find these sauces or my other secret hacks? Go to bringthestress.com slash recommendations. Wash down these burgers with some Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna end the video here. Customized seven day meal plans are now available. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Bring the Shreds, where we're all about moderation, not deprivation. Because hey, life is too short for brown rice, chicken breast, and broccoli all day. Am I right? Don't forget to bring the shreds. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.